Hello guys, my name is Abian. I'm a medical student studying in London. In this video, I'll be showing you my Anki settings that I use to study in medical school. Okay, so here we have my Anki. I'm just going to go and show you the settings I use on my deck. So I'll be going through each tab one by one and just showing you the settings that I use. So for new cards, the steps I like to use is 3 and 15. This ensures that when I'm learning new cards, I see them multiple times before they actually graduate. I like to show new cards in a random order because interleaving different new cards are actually better for memory. In terms of new cards per day, I like to choose 10, but choose a number that's comfortable with you and depending on the amount of time you have for Anki every day. Do bear in mind that the higher you set this number, the more the reviews will pile up, so it depends on how much you can manage and how much time you have during the day to do the reviews as well. Graduating interval, I'll set to one, so once I've learned the cards after uh, you know the steps three and 15, it'll graduate and I'll set that to one day. If I press easy on a card, then I'll set that to four days. I find that that's you know, a good balance, a good number to set. Starting ease, I leave at 250, don't touch that. Now with very related new cards until the next day, I like to keep that check on because I don't want to see cards that have a similar topic because again, interleaving those cards is better for your memory. On the reviews, I also select very related reviews, that's important. You can try without this setting, but I find that, you know, burying related reviews is actually, otherwise you're just doing this mono monotonously. Maximum reviews per day. Now don't get alarmed at this number. I've set it to the highest possible limit. This basically ensures that you get through all the reviews Anki wants you to get through. And that's the optimum way of doing it. It doesn't mean you actually get 9,999 cards per day because obviously that would be quite hard to do but it will just get through all of your reviews and won't cut it off if you're not done reviewing the cards you're meant to according to the Al Anki algorithm. Easy bonus set that at 130 so that if you press easy on a card it multiplies it by your interval modifier and this percentage. If you're getting cards which are too easy and you keep pressing easy but you do, um, you know, you're seeing them too often then you can increase this number. Interval modifier I leave at 100. This basically depends on my true retention rate which I'll cover in another video. Essentially you want your true retention to be between 80 and 90 percent. If it's too low or too high, you can adjust this accordingly. But again, subscribe if you do want to stay tuned for the upcoming video in this Anki series. Maximum interval I like to set to 180 days, which is basically six months. This ensures that I see a card at least two times in a year. The reason why I do that is because if I'm starting at the beginning of the year and I have exams at the end of the year, I want to make sure I see the card at least once and then once again before my exam. I also do think that, you know, I'll forget cards if I haven't seen in over six months. So 180 days works well for me so far. Hard interval, 120, leave that. So lapses are learning cards that you get wrong. Obviously, if you get it wrong, I want to see them again. And I've picked to see them again in 10 minutes. New interval set, leave that to zero. I think it comes as zero. I don't really mess with that. Minimum interval, I set to one day and leech threshold essentially that's three meaning that if I get a card wrong three times I want to tag and this is the action when a card becomes a leech I want to tag it as a leech card so that actually if I go ahead and go into my browse I can see in the filter by leech these are the cards that I've pressed wrong more than three times meaning that I need to relearn that content or maybe I need to review and actually split up the cards into more simple topics Okay, and then for general, I like to ignore answer times that are longer than 300 seconds. Essentially, if I'm just sitting there for more than five minutes and just not answering the card, then it shows that maybe I'm procrastinating right now. So, you know, sometimes cards will take two or three minutes, but if it's been sitting there for five minutes, then I just don't want to include that in my, uh, in my timer. I do like to show answer timer. I found that before when I had this off, then I would be more lax with the reviews, whereas when I have this on, I've got that added pressure of that timer. It also allows me to see how long roughly I spend on a card. You know, if I find myself spending two minutes or more on a card, then it kind of shows that I might be struggling with that concept a little bit, and it may be something I need to learn again. I leave the bottom two checked on because I don't use audio in my cards. If you're learning a language or something, which, um, which you can also use Anki for, then maybe you have pronunciations and stuff. 
But for medical school, I don't really have um, audio in my cards, and so both of these cards are unchecked. Description, I leave that blank. I don't really see the need for a description. Now, one final thing I want to highlight is that there are different settings for each you know, decks. So for example, right now I'm in year five, but if I want to review my cards from the previous year, then I don't want to do it as intensely as this year. I just want to keep on top of my um, things so I don't remember everything completely. So then I'll use different settings for year four. You know, maybe I'm seeing less new cards a day, I'm seeing less reviews a day, stuff like that. So what you can actually do is go ahead and go into options, Click on manage where it says option groups at the top and you can change different option groups depending on the type of revision you're doing. I like to just have a separate one for each deck. Okay well then that basically summarizes the settings that I use for my Anki decks in medical school. Just before you go if you're new here my name's Abby and I'm a medical student studying in London. This is my first video, actually it's my second video now in my Anki series. I have made a video before about the best add-ons that I use on my Anki so if you're interested in that then make sure you watch it. I'll try and do like a little pop-up here and I will be making more videos on you know the best settings and how I use Anki and stuff like that so if you're interested in in this Anki series then make sure you do subscribe. I've also recently started a newsletter called Swift Sunday. Now I know you don't have much time but it's basically it's basically just going to be one idea, one quote and one video. So my recent one that just got released was about expectations and it's going to be around 100, 150 words max, just a paragraph not gonna waste your time at all. One quote and the latest video. So if you're interested in signing up for that, then do make sure you check out the link in the description. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video.